So here we have it, the first locals vlog in about 3,000 fucking years. I'm in the, uh, the old car with Mr. Jam Jam himself, and we're on our way to Monastery Locals, best locals ever, or something like that. <laughs> uh, we're excited to just get back. We've just been talking about it like, we, so we haven't had locals since last year, um, probably what, October sort of time? Somewhere around there, yeah. Yeah, in, in, in autumn, winter time, we got shut down again. Uh, and finally we are open again so we're excited to be able to get back to locals in a very minimal setting and uh, there's going to be lots of hygiene and wiping down tables and all of that kind of stuff but honestly being able to play in person is just so worth it so we're on our way over there now uh, i'm playing zulich which is way above my skill level even though it's a bit helmet so that tells you everything you need to know um, so i expect fully to just lose all my games tonight uh, and then hopefully just pull an ulti out of an ots pack anyway that's the dream when you play me. Probably. Let's see how we get on. Yeah, fun with baby. Round one down, uh, we play Capoli first game, so one of the boys on the team. Uh, unfortunately, game one, we see a lot of the same hand traps, which are all once per turn, so we can't really play too much. Uh, we tried to stick it out for a few turns, didn't go very far. Uh, game two, I went first. Uh, I opened Barrage, three of the traps, and something else that was largely irrelevant. Um, so I play Barrage, he ashes it. I said two traps. Next turn, he rips Twin Twisters. And then my draw for turn is like, uh, I think another Ash or something stupid. And then uh, I survive another turn and then I draw into Eldritch, but I've got nothing to get onto the field, nothing to send with it. So uh, a swift 2-0, unfortunately. Partially down to Bricken, not too many misplays. Wasn't much to misplay with, there's fuck all going on. So there's that. So not great for game one, but I wasn't expecting too much anyway, since we're uh, early days back in. So we're likely to make a few more like misplays and all that kind of stuff so i was expecting a rough day anyway so not too worried about all of that but fingers crossed we get a slightly better uh, next round we've got quite a competitive table today though out of the six of us so expecting a tough evening ahead So there we have it, didn't have time after round two like I would normally to just talk about my game. So game two, uh, I played against Dragon Link. I was on a pretty stacked table, as I said before, so it was always gonna be a tough night. Um, Dragon Link, there wasn't all that much I could do. Uh, it was just the bare deck one, so not much else to say there. Um, and it was against a very good player as well, so no shame in that. And then uh, round three, I played against Sam. It was basically a rare match. He was playing the more trap heavy variant of the deck with um, a splash of Dogmatica in there. Uh, game one was super grindy. Um, we were relatively tight, but I was up on resources and then he made a misplay, which cost him the game. Um, and then 
round uh, game two went into time and uh, he, he was in his main phase didn't have any way to do any damage so uh, I won by virtue of the fact that having a game up so a bit of a tight evening a handful of misplays but nothing too crazy um, nothing that I would say was was a major game changer uh, so relatively happy with performance uh, deck didn't do me too many favors but it's, it's a weird format so my hand traps are kind of dead um, so that made it a bit more difficult than it would be under normal circumstances but all things considered uh, learned a little bit more about the deck playing physically which is always nice and uh, yeah results were okay could, could have been better but it, it, it was nothing crazy out of my control so relatively happy with that how are yours mine were fairly good very long games very grindy um, lots of people playing quite slow remembering how to play the game yeah a lot of that um lots of misplays happening yeah well, a few misplays happening yeah uh, i lost the virtual world beat my other two games fairly easy and what was the weird shit you were playing i was playing in vote dog mataka shed um infernoid infernoid invoked dog mataka. dog mataka what a deck it is well no one knows how to play against it, so that's number one. <laughs> I did a bit of play testing against this, and it was pretty silly because again, nothing in my deck that counters it doesn't even. So it was just oh, I lose every game. To be fair, mm. so there was one game though where I opened up five spells and a Pancratox. My opponent opened up Monster Negate plus Anti Spell. That's not a good feeling. <laughs> <laughs> we love Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Blood games. those games do happen well anyway not too bad for our first locals back of course we go back at it this weekend uh, by the time this is up it'll probably be like a day or so before in fact this may even go up after the next locals because we've got some pretty cool content coming out uh, for those of you who follow the channel will know uh, we've got some lightning overdrive but by the time this is out it'll already have been released so uh, we'll see you there and we'll see you at the next locals This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description.